Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to the Garden Report. Celtics win again. 107-98 over the Hawks, and it was a resilient victory for Boston. Losing Jalen Brown midway through the first quarter after flying around the defensive end, piling up a bunch of stops against the Hawks offense early. All the momentum stopped right there after Brown came up lane on the drive. Celtics built an early three-point lead. It disappeared from there. Hawks scoring 37 on Boston in that second quarter. After Trey Young went down in his own right, but got up from a left ankle injury, left the game briefly after Marcus Smart slid under him with a flagrant foul on the three-point line. And Atlanta just tears Boston's defense apart in that second quarter. They try to bring in Pritchard. Neesmith got some run in the third quarter. Grant Williams fills in late, and that's effectively how the Celtics strung together a rotation without their second star available for the rest of the game. Ime said after that Brown tried to give it a try in the tunnel there, but ultimately they leaned on the safe side. They'll see how the swelling and pain progresses. Brown dealing with both of those after the injury there, but the Celtics... Who I thought were down and out, going down by 17 in that second quarter and also 14 at halftime. I didn't love how they were playing. Marcus Smart turning the ball over a bunch. Celtics following 13 times, just out of sorts defensively, sending Atlanta to the free throw line numerous times during that second quarter. And the Hawks stormed in the halftime on a 9 0 run. So. I had an idea that Ime Udoka was going to show a bunch of defensive film at half. It was that bad that Celtics were going to have to come out with some energy, but I didn't expect a 14-0 push to tie it right out of halftime. Tatum aggressive, looking for his shot, finding teammates, Robert Williams on the offensive glass, Celtics getting to the free throw line in their own right, and boom, just like that, they're back. They're in the thick of the game, and Tatum was outstanding. No turnovers until late in the fourth. He finishes this one with 33 points, I believe, eight rebounds, seven assists. Clean game, finding teammates, two key skip passes to Grant Williams late that blew this one to a double-digit Celtics lead in the fourth quarter. And Boston's defense holds the Hawks to 13 points in that third quarter, nine points from Trey Young in the second half. He fell apart to three of 11 after half, probably injury related to some degree there on his part. And Grant, those split actions by the offense, Robert Williams passing out of the high post, Tatum cutting off Smart, who was much better, got a chase down block on DeAndre Hunter that ended up being a critical point in this game. So all those things, all those keys, plays and moments and guys getting back up from mistakes earlier in this game contributed to a massive second half turnaround by this team. The Celtics outscored the Hawks 56 to 33 in that second half. It was non-competitive and Celtics ended up going down by 17 and leading by as many as 11 in that second half. They came back quick, built a lead, stopped a couple late Hawks runs and really solidified against, as I said a couple weeks ago, one of the best offenses in in the league in Atlanta so you feel good about the way the defense held Atlanta out of the pain at the key moments of the game at the beginning and the end Al Horford was racking up blocks all game making some key passes in his own right uh, making a key offensive rebound Robert Williams at the three-point play as Atlanta pushed back late on the offensive glass Celtics out rebounded on the offensive side second chance points built a 15 nothing advantage to start this game until very late so physicality wise as Ime Odoka talked about Celtics set a tone there coming out and piling stops in the beginning of a game was key and then dealing with adversity Ime Odoka talking about the fact that Neesmith played some successful minutes plus 10 minutes to start the third quarter despite some shaky shooting there he shot off the backboard way off on another three-point attempt uh, it wasn't great offense from Neesmith, but he worked in what they were doing defensively. And Peyton Pritchard, I thought, too, was flying around with these switches in that early portion of the fourth quarter there. And then Grant shut it down late with that pair of threes. And how good does he look? Scoring 16 points, uh, seven rebounds. I mean, who could imagine Grant closing games, hitting threes at will, sidestepping guys, and contributing on the defensive end. I saw defensive uh, impact added or whatever the ringer wrote about as part of their piece assessing the Celtics. Grant in the 62nd percentile of defenders this year in terms of impact. So 
he's as good as anybody in the switching string defense. And I say it, the Celtics did a lot to make me think that they can handle adversity and a player going down. Now, if Brown's out for an extended stretch here, especially starting Thursday, it's going to be a slog to get through two really hard games coming up against the 42-20 and 20 Grizzlies and the Nets, who are presumably going to have Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant coming in Sunday afternoon. So big, big challenges ahead for the Celtics now. But when you look at their record, 27 losses, they've only lost six times total since early January, since that MSG loss, the meltdown there, and 19 wins. So 19 and six we're talking about now for the Celtics. That's what this run is at. And it's easy to have confidence in them, the way that they can react. And Tatum, ball handling, the two key skip passes at the end to Grant, as well as uh, another sidestep behind the back pass to Grant in the corner after another stop. Those are great moments, and I thought Tatum really took on the defensive assignment on Young, much like he did last time, uh, proudly in this one as well. So I'm feeling very good about where Tatum's at as a floor general for this team. It's my biggest takeaway from this one. He needed to be great when Brown went down, and he was outstanding. One of Tatum's better games all year. So the Celtics do top the Hawks by nine here at TD Garden. We will be back to see the Grizzlies play, and we're just going to be one of the season's best showcases. You can only hope full health as we often do with these games here and we will be here Sherrod, Josue and I from TD Garden when the Celtics and Grizzlies face off at 7.30 check out Coda.io apps, suites, all together in one location accessible for all your team members go get that to help your organization and go on a run like the Celtics are going on right now and I am Bobby Manning if I didn't introduce myself at the beginning probably know me by the turtleneck and chain looking credential here uh, we are live TD Garden every game Celtics all access CLNS Media and the Celtics post game show check out our discord as well CLNSmedia.com slash discord see you in a few days